This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I fill a subtool with color when using a layer in record mode? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the demo head model here loaded in. And the question is asking about using subtools with layers and filling that layer with a color. So as an example of this, I'm just gonna navigate over to the tool palette. I'm just gonna open up my subtool palette here first to make sure I have the demo head selected. And then I'm gonna scroll down and open up the layers area. And in here, I'm going to click this create new layer button. So let's say with the demo soldier model here, I want to go through and I wanna apply a new layer and I want this layer here to have the color green applied to the model. So my layer is active, it is in record mode, and now I just wanna fill the demo head with green. So I'm gonna come over here to my color picker and just pick a green color. So we're just gonna go full green here. And then now I'm gonna go up to my color palettes and I'm gonna click this fill object button here, which should take the color and fill the model. And you'll notice after I click this, you'll see that the color vanishes and it's not applied to the mesh. So what just happened and how can I get this layer to be filled with this green color? So when you're using the layers here that are connected to a subtool, any of the effects that you apply to the layer must be sculptural effects. So if we went up to this color option up here and did a fill object, this is not going to paint or sculpt on the surface of the model, so it's not going to be recorded in this layer. So if we want to fill this model with green, what we need to do is we need to apply this green paint to the vertices of the mesh as a brush stroke, and then that will be recorded in that layer. So I'm gonna make sure I have the standard brush selected here at the top, I'm gonna to turn on RGB, I'm gonna turn Z add off, and then over here in the stroke palette, I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna select the drag rectangle stroke. So now I have the standard brush set up as a brush and I have it in this drag rectangle mode and it's only gonna apply RGB. So when I apply this to the surface of the model, this layer is now going to read this as a sculptural effect and it's going to be recorded to this layer. So I'm just going to come across the model here and click and drag to use this. And you'll see as I drag it out, I'm applying that green color. Now, if you don't want the fall off that's going to naturally happen when using the drag rectangle stroke, you can also come up here and turn your focal shift all the way down to negative 100. And I can just reapply that really quick to make sure I have this model fully covered in green. And now you'll notice that it hasn't disappeared. So if I come over here and change this back to white, you'll see that the demo head model here is still green and the green coloring has now been stored to this layer. So if I turn off record mode and now turn off the eyeball function here, you'll see the green color will now turn off and I'll just be left with the demo head here that was filled with white. And then I come back over the layer and turn this on and off as needed. Now, once this layer has been filled with this color, you can also change the slider here to adjust how much green is being applied to this layer. So I can come over here and start scaling this up and down. And this is going to allow me to get a little lighter shade of green on that layer there. So after you have a layer filled with the color, you can then modify it even more using the layer system. So once again, in order to apply a color and have it be recorded into a layer, the effect of the coloring has to be applied as a sculptural mark. So using the color fill object will not work on the model. So you'll need to select something like the standard brush, change the stroke to say drag rectangle, make sure RGB is turned on, set your intensity at what level you want it at. And then if you pick a color and then now apply this to the model with the layer being in record mode, it should now remember this. And after you get out of record mode, you can now toggle this on and off to display or hide the coloring. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.